Hey guys, it's Alisa Amor from Spray Paint Art Secrets. And if you're really interested in learning spray paint art, then you're going to love this because I'm going to do a painting for you. And you can just listen and follow along as I explain each step. And if there's something you're really interested in here, then listen to it a couple times more and go try it out with your cans. And please do let me know how it went. All right, so that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just marking where my, my planets are going to go and then I'm going to fill them in from lighter to darker, uh, white, yellow, pink, orange, blue, and orange and blue are complementary colors, so they work really well together and that's a metallic blue, so it's a little bit uh, more transparent and that's, uh, that is transparent and that just loosens the paint up a little bit if it's dried because it's a hot day. So I'm uh, using my newspaper to create the, the, the effects just by crinkling it up and then using my hand to brush it across the paint and that just color place black, which is uh, one of the softer, finer blacks and it makes a nice shade. So I just put my planets on where they're going to go, protect them from the uh, paint, the overspray, and now I'm um, putting paint where my land and the light in the sky is going to be and I'm going again in the same order of colors uh, that I used on the planets from light to dark, yellow, pink, orange, but I'm using a little bit of red uh, because the red makes it uh, feel like it's a little bit closer so I just put it at the bottom and in the sky. Uh, so there's going to be some blue as well in the sky and I like the way that the blue contrasts uh, with the red and the orange and again the use of those complementary colors. Okay, so I'm filling in the areas of the sky that uh, are a little bit darker, and then I'm just gonna um, fix up, uh, you know, use my red to, and some of the more fiery colors to to create a pretty light there. And uh, then I'm going to put a little bit more light down at the bottom because my land is gonna be relatively dark, so I want to make sure that before I do my land that there's something to contrast with. So uh, I'm gonna a little rainbow on and this takes some some control with the spray can to be able to get it right you kind of angle the can a little bit sideways to get a thinner line uh, that can be difficult at first but you will get there so now I'm taking my paint spatula and I'm gonna make some stars and you might notice how hard I, I uh, throw the stars even the camera shaking <laughs> because it was very close to my chair and um, I do that because the paint expands slightly when it hits the uh, wet paint, so I want my stars to be very small, so uh, that's why I do that so, so forcefully. Okay, now I'm going to make my uh, ring around the planet, so I'm pulling a little transparent there to loosen it up, and that's just a little piece of poster board that I tore off. Um, I can try to get a nice, uh, hard, uh, sturdy piece, and um, there's really no secret to making the rings other than um, just having a steady hand and practice. Okay, so I'm gonna make the land, so I'm grabbing my newspaper, and that is uh, like from a advertisement thing that I got in the mail. It's uh, not, not too stiff, but not too uh, soft either. And I'm drawing inside of it with my fingers, and that's what's creating those uh, rocks and um, kind of uh, three-dimensional effects. And I'm gonna go over it again, and each time I go over it, I take off another layer of paint, on and it reveals what I did underneath. Um, that's covered in the uh, video series. This is, is pretty much everything I'm talking about is covered in great detail there. I'm using a sliding motion, uh, which is guided by my index finger. Um, and there I'm uh, preparing to put some rocks in the front. And I'm using black and red because I I want the rocks to look closer. Uh, blue generally makes things look farther away. Red brings them closer. You don't always want to use red, but in this painting it works very well. So that's again the clear spray paint, and I'm preparing to uh, to draw something before I draw the city. I'm going to make the dome because it uh, it just it, it looks a little different. And, and I'm spraying, if you notice, on top of the cardboard, not onto the painting itself. Because if I was were to spray onto the painting, I'd get a very different uh, effect instead of onto that bent piece of cardboard. So now I, I just draw and um, in, in the program we'll teach you a lot of spatula exercises, about three three different things you can practice with the spatula at least to, to just get a feel for how to draw with it and then eventually you get very, very quick. Um, so there I'm using that same piece of paper that I used to make the rings, like a, a little space city in a dome or something. I don't know, just, I'm just playing with it. Okay, and I'm gonna make a little bit of land underneath 
Oh, it's just a little bit of clear spray paint and play with it with my fingers and maybe add some colors, so highlight or a color here and there to just get it the way that I like. A little bit of blue and a little bit of black after that on the edges. Just it gives it a little bit of a, a finishing touch at the bottom. And now I'm going to put some lights in the sky. So that's just a piece of poster board where I poke some holes in it with a pencil. And that is my Rust-Oleum White, which is the brightest of the whites. Uh, I like that better than the Painter's Touch for making my stars and effects and things because it's just a little bit brighter. And there's a comet and you just hit the can and whoosh, there it is. All right, so that's a little taste of uh, what's inside the Spray Paint Arts program. There's a lot more cool stuff that you can learn. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about this um, Spray Paint Arts program. I'm doing this uh, with Gerardo Amor, who is my ex, and he's like my best friend in the whole world, and he is one of the inventors of spray paint art, so um, if you want to know how spray paint art got started, uh, check out his website for some history, gerardoamor.com, and you can see the, some of the cool stuff he does. Uh, we're going to be putting together a bunch of free video tutorials to explain some techniques that maybe you haven't heard about. Um, we're just doing whatever occurs to us as we go along. So if there's something particular that you would like to see explained, just uh, drop me a note. Uh, if you want to learn the really cool shit, <laughs> the stuff that lets you paint anything that you can imagine, then check out the Spray Paint Art Secrets of Mexico program, which has like 10 DVDs of lessons and a book that's over 100 pages of techniques explained in detail. And you will see that the sky's the limit as to what you can paint. Well, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. And uh, thanks for watching this video and everything. Stay tuned for lots more techniques that will take your spray paint art to the next level.